Now, I know y'all are not gonna like this one, but I think Haley Deegan is ready and needs to move up to the Xfinity Series. She can't stick around in her current truck ride in 2023, and she needs to go somewhere. Today, we're gonna talk about where Haley Deegan could end up racing full-time in 2023 and beyond on Shifting Gears. I'm Alan Bailey, and before we get started, make sure you smash the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest videos and log on to AmericanRacingNetwork.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. A lot of people are kind of mm, wishy-washy on Haley Deegan. A lot of people don't think that she's a serious racer. Some people think that she is a serious racer in bad equipment, and some just think that it's a giant PR stunt. I actually think she does have some racing talent, I just think she's in a bad series and a bad ride. You look at what Haley Deegan has done in the NASCAR Truck Series the last two seasons, it hasn't been stellar. Yes, she got her first start in 2020, and yeah, she kind of impressed, finished 16th, pretty respectable. And then in 2021, out of the COVID pandemic, NASCAR shifted to less practice time. Essentially, Haley Deegan was going to racetracks for the first time and actually getting laps in the actual race. No practice, no qualifying for a lot of 2021 meant that she was getting her first laps for the first time in a truck when the race was actually happening and they spent most of the race actually uh, showing her the ropes and getting the truck more or less worked to her liking. Yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. And then in 2022, we actually got a little bit of practice and a lot of people thought, okay, this is her chance to kind of break through that barrier and show what she has. And so far with, as of this recording, two truck races remaining in the season, I know one just happened a few days ago, but I recorded this beforehand, so give me a break. She only has two top 10 finishes, still not a whole lot to inspire confidence. So what's the problem really? Is it the truck? Is it Haley? Is it the team? Honestly, I think the problem is a little bit of the equipment that she's in. And I think the bigger problem is that the series just kind of sucks. Deegan went on the Door Bumper Clear podcast earlier this season, and the guys on Door Bumper Clear with her talked about their frustrations with the truck series. Because I say this all the time, when I sat down to talk to Noah Gragson when he was leaving the truck series to go up to the Xfinity series, I said, you're going to be a better Xfinity series driver because A, you're not around a bunch of idiots all the time, which if you're after about eighth place on back in trucks, there's there's more idiots than not back there. Oh, it's oh, yeah. and, and the terrible. trucks are so dependent upon one another to go fast, mm -hmm. you have to use each other's air and you have to side draft and you have to do all the things that actually suck that it's in terms of being independent as a race car driver. I 100% agree with them because the truck series is kind of all over the place right now. You got essentially the rookies who came out of ARCA and bought their way into the truck series who really turned that place into kind of a demolition derby crash fest. Honestly, I've seen demo derbies that are more respectful and a little bit less crashy than the truck series. I know he said crashy, <gasps> jump on him for the one word he said, Urr. and I know all the faceless profiles here on YouTube are going to jump on me because of that one. But seriously, you look at Deegan and everything that she's done over the last couple of seasons, she's putting in the work. She honestly is trying to learn not only the craft a little bit better, but she's actually absorbing information from series veterans and significantly better racers than her. That's not a knock on her. In July of 2021, she actually went and ran a couple of SRX races and ran a couple this season as well. And through her blog, we can see that she actually sat down with a majority of these drivers and talked to them and actually learned about not only the SRX car itself specifically, but driving as a whole. And she has Indy 500 winners. She has NASCAR champs around her. She's got NHRA people around her. She's got literally some of the best racers over the last 50 years right there in SRX. And to her credit, she absorbed everything that they said like a sponge. During the off season in 2021 into 2022, she didn't just sit around and go on vacation like most drivers did, no. Her and her boyfriend actually put a car together and went to the Tuscaloosa shootout. And they've been working on their uh, program ever since, going out here and there, racing in the dirt, trying to become a better driver, work on her skills. You fast forward to January 2022, and she actually jumped in an IMSA car. Yeah, 
She went down to Daytona with Chase Briscoe and a couple of other people and actually was running laps and as you can tell, clearly understands the car. I said earlier if I can just drive it in deeper because I'm kind of using up all the brakes at this point. And all of a sudden I did that the last lap and it's like just me feeling it out instant half second fast. Oh, yeah. And so it's like, oh, this is what you got in. Same thing as SRX. She's around talented people who have a lot more track time and experience, and she's absorbing this. Keep in mind, she just turned 21. Get your heads out of the gutter. I'm talking about the fact that she doesn't have a whole lot of experience racing on pavement for the most part. And she went down to Daytona and actually held her own and proved she belongs to be there in my mind. Then in October 2022, she actually jumped in an Xfinity car for the very first time and proved she belongs. Finishing 13th in her first Xfinity Series start, that's pretty darn good considering that the car that she races usually runs sub 20th most weekends. Ultimately, where are we going with this? Where do we think that Haley Deegan is going to be in 2023 and why is she not going to be in the number one truck? No, it's not because David Gilliland has decided I'm done with you and moving on, but instead that in 2023 David Gilliland Racing is moving from Ford back to Toyota, with the announcement coming either sometime this week or next week. So where does that leave Haley Deegan for 2023, and why can't she just stay at David Gilliland Racing? Well, Deegan actually has a development contract with Ford, so she's going to stay in the Ford camp no matter what. And when you look at the truck series next season, as of right now, only Front Row Motorsports and the number 38 truck are actually going to be Ford. No other Fords in the truck series except for that one. So front row would essentially have to add a second truck team for Deegan. Is that going to happen? Potentially. I do see this as a possibility if an Xfinity ride or sponsorship funding can't be found. However, Deegan and Ford are going to have to find funding for that second front row motorsports Ford. And I do think that it would be a better ride for her if she chooses to stay in the truck series. You look at what David Gilliland Racing has done, they only have a handful of wins and top fives in their entire existence, and most of the wins have actually come at the hand of cup drivers who come down to run the equipment. So I don't think that David Gilliland Racing is a good team at the moment. They're just too inconsistent and they don't have the runs. They're essentially moving over to Toyota, filling the gap that Kyle Busch Motorsports is vacating in 2023. So I I do expect David Gilliland Racing to get significantly better in 2023, and if they don't, then the problem isn't the equipment, but that begs the question, does Deegan stay in the truck series in 2023? If I were her, I would get out now. It makes no sense for her to waste time in the truck series because that's essentially what she's doing. I think for the record, anybody who's not consistently running in the top 10 in the truck series is wasting their time because that truck series is filled with the Carson Husavars who are going to go out there and wreck cars, blatantly turning them to cause caution and NASCAR is going to sit idly by because what little officials that they do still have on staff are in the Cup Series messing up calls in the Cup Series. So is Deegan ready for the Xfinity Series? I honestly think she is. I think that she's wasting her time in the Truck Series and I think she needs to make the jump into Xfinity in order to really show her driving talents and hone those driving talents and not be so reliant on the cars around her and frankly avoid bumper tag from the idiots in the Truck Series. But what Fords are available in Xfinity for 2023? Well, let's go down numerically here. The 07 SS Greenlight Racing Ford. This is the team that she actually raced for in her Xfinity Series debut. And I do think that this is kind of her fallback ride option. This is where she will end up if she finds the sponsors and more importantly if Ford doesn't actually find a competitive ride for her. The only other two options that I see in the Xfinity Series for 2023 are either Stuart Haas Racing or Penske. I really don't think that Roger Penske is going to resurrect his Xfinity Series program. He essentially let those people go and that shop is essentially closed. Now, it could come back sometime in the near future, but I truly don't think that the number 22 team is ready for a comeback in 2023. So that pretty much leaves Stuart Haas Racing, who wants to sign her in the Xfinity Series from what I'm being told but it all comes down to money. Now, does that mean that Riley Herbst is leaving and that he won't be in the 98? Possibly. We don't really know. 
Herbst is essentially paying for his ride at Stuart Haas Racing. He brings the sponsorship dollars and more or less continues to pay Stuart Haas to let him drive the number 98. So that means we could potentially see the double zero Stuart Haas Racing Ford make a comeback with Stuart Haas going into a two-car organization in the Xfinity Series in 2023. I actually do think that this is likely, and honestly, it boils down to will Gene Haas help to back that double zero for a few races? Honestly, if I were Gene Haas, yes, I very much would put some money into the Xfinity series. Monster is already a sponsor over at Stuart Haas Racing, and they have a very strong relationship with Deegan. I think that with Kurt Busch announcing his full-time retirement, and Monster saying that they are not sure if they're going to be in the Cup Series in 2023, but they will still be in NASCAR, I do see them kind of putting a little bit more money into Deegan's pocket, and maybe even Herb's pocket in order to sponsor Stuart Haas Racing in a larger capacity for 2023. Now, does that mean that Deegan's all set and that she's going to be the second Monster Energy car? No, not necessarily. I think at best, Deegan is looking for at least, at least 15 races to be filled from the void that Monster won't be able to fill. Now, Deegan does show that she is willing to work with sponsors, and she is still actively looking for sponsors. She's going to advertise for you, unlike any other driver in the Cup Series right now, through her social media platforms, through YouTube more specifically, and her vlog. Her team does an amazing job at those videos, and honestly, if you aren't following her on YouTube right now, you absolutely need to, because there is some phenomenal behind-the-scenes content, and truly, I think she needs to be a reality show in and of herself. Ultimately, I do want to see Deegan in that number double zero for Stuart Haas Racing in the Xfinity Series for 2023. But again, this is 100% based on sponsor dollars. But I want to hear what you have to say. Where do you think Haley Deegan is going to race in 2023? Let me know in the comments down below and hit that subscribe and like button to help support the channel. You can also give me a follow on my social media accounts at Bailey and log on to AmericanRacingNetwork.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. Thank you so much for watching. For Shifting Gears, I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.